I what just, is it about, again, going back about we're sheep? There's something about us that we don't build the Lily Tomlins. Yeah. And the, and, but in Quebec, they do. Yes, Quebec's much better at it, so much. What's going on with English Canada that we don't do this? You know, I, I don't know if Canadians, it's because their whole characters, all of us for a long time, oh, well, I'll just follow them and do it that way. They don't go out of the box, for instance, a lot. Um, when I did What's a Nice Country, I thought this is just, I mean, it, it was a show about Watergate. And, uh, you know, this is a Canadian country. What do we know? Well, I tell you, we opened at the Dell and the, we sold out for 14 months. Um, thinking that people maybe not pick up on all the American stuff, but they do. I, I just think we're badly trained. I don't understand this. The audience, not the, not the actors, not by a long shot, they're fabulous. But audiences, when we first did Cats, I mean, people, because I, I know I did a lot of dinner theater because that was the only venues I could get. I mean, a lot of people came to Cats and said, so where do we eat dinner? You know, and it was in the Elgin Theater. I mean, we weren't all that clever as theater goers way back then. Is it, is it something to do with risk in that, I mean, you're a producer, so you understand weighing risk when you take it on and when you don't. And we're talking about the audiences that if we're sheep, I mean, sheep don't risk, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we're just, and I don't mind us being quiet and, and, being a sheep now and again is kind of fun. You don't have to be the black sheep of the group mm -hmm. and, and come out. I think things have changed a lot, certainly now, because the Fiona's of the world, you know, everybody knows them now, but that took a lot of doing to, to I mean, I had her in Vanities with Andrea Martin and Rosemary Radcliffe, I thought, geez, I'm really jumping to drama here, getting these three. It's the story of the three girls in college. But we can't seem to get beyond the well-known actors to the star stage. We don't, we'll not take, we'll, yes, we'll say Colin Fiore and, and Fiona Reed and Robert Lepage. They're well-known, but we don't push them up into the next layer of their extraordinary and we should treasure them. Why don't we do that? Do you think because we have a, it, it's like you want to smack them down. They've the got actors? Too, too, <laughs> yes, like they got too many good reviews. We better be really nasty now. Um, and, and that's another problem. And you what's know. that? That's, in Australia, that's called the tall poppy syndrome. Oh, right? it is? If there's a tall poppy, you'll cut its head off. Yeah, well. So they all level, so to speak. Why do we do that? Because we were a colony? I don't know. <laughs> no, but it, it it is true. They get a couple of really good reviews, and they can their next show can be fabulous, and they'd still say. And they get, I think sometimes they get a little too personal. Critics do. I mean, they have torn people apart. They have no right to do. Uh, personally, you know, oh, they didn't like her haircut or you know makeup too. I mean, it, it's you probably don't follow the reviews as much as I do. I I don't so much anymore because I don't can't be bothered, frankly, because I don't believe most of them, but um, I just go and find out for myself. I think that's part of the problem. A lot of people don't, and they should, because uh, sometimes, I mean, even out of two reviewers, they could be dead opposites. Mm -hmm. I mean, where were they? I don't get it. Yeah. It, it, it's very difficult, it, but they, you're right. They just don't go up to that next step, and it's just like, keep them down and under. Uh, and it kind of keeps the whole thing down and under yeah. because then you don't have the star system on which you can build a production or you can build a marketing plan. We just don't have it, so. That's right, they are, and a lot of them go, to, not a lot of them, some of them have refused to, but some of them do go to the States and once they're on, television has made a terrific difference. I mean, once people see people on television, they think, oh boy, I better go see him. Television has helped a lot, whether they're Canadian, whatever. Right. It's been tough.
because we never, ever had that star system. I mean, Cats was so popular, everybody. And I always remember, um, because uh, I can't believe there's anybody that hasn't seen a Cats show, but how they're dressed, you would never know who they are. So we gave them all, in, within the first week, uh, leather jackets with cats on it. And every single time any of them went on a bus or a TTC, everybody stopped them and said, oh, because nobody, uh, they were stars in their own right back then, but nobody recognized them. Yep. And they had so much fun going by TTC so they could wear their jackets and people would say, oh, which one did you play? You know, what did you do? I mean, it was very interesting. The whole process was fascinating.